hello welcome to everyone in this video this is the part one of the solution of the paper cc8 that is mathematical method 3 for the year 2023 which asked in 2023 of the honor university of calcutta physics honors so let's start at the first you can see the total question paper of the physics or mathematical paper 3 cc8 uh, for the semester 4 fourth semester physics on earth this is the question paper one uh, this is question number one a to g then question number two three four five six seven right so this is the total question paper i request all of you try to solve these questions for, for, for yourself after that continue the video was the solution of this question in this video why uh, we want to solve the question number one that is a to g and in upcoming session we will be continuing question number two three four five six and seven so let's start first question says if f of z is u which is function of x and y iota v which also function of x and y is an analytic function then so that grad u dot grad v is equal to zero at every point so this is analytic function mean it satisfy cauchy riemann condition that is del u del x equal to del v del y that is the partial derivative of u with respect to x equal to partial derivative of v with respect to y and del u del y equals to minus del v del x so if you taking the dot product of gradient u grad u and grad v just uh, taking the derivative partial derivative no in the two dimension because it is a function of x and y there is no function of z that's why we take the two dimension this is the x cap is the unit vector along the x axis y cap is the unit vector along the y axis similarly you can write for that one and you know in case of dot product x dot x1 y dot y1 other is zero so if you just uh, multiply this y th and this one that is del u del x into del v del x equals to del u del y del v del y now you use the cauchy riemann condition that is del u del x equal to del v del y and del u del y equals to minus del v del x after putting these two uh, equation, 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 you just get the uh, same things with negative one. So these two cancel out, and finally you got the zero. Hence proved. I think clear about the solution of this question. Next question says find the nature of singularity at z equals to one for f of z, that is sine square z by root under z minus one. So if you take the limit z tends to one because this tends to zero. Uh, with f of z you will finally find out this one which is 0 hence this z equals to 1 is not a pole because it if this is not equal to 0 this will be pole this is equal to 0 this is not equals to pole so it can it, it, it can not be removable singularity so it is essential singularity next question two events are in space like separation explain why these two events cannot casually connect you know the separation between two events a and b in fourth dimension is like that and delta is equal to 0 means light like less than 0 means uh, this portion is getter that is time like and this is space like so in case of light like or space uh, light like in this diagram you can see uh, this is light like these two line are light like within that one this is less than less than 0 within that one this is time like and getter than this portion this plane is space like so in case of uh, these two case light like and time like you can see the distance traveled by the light is greater than the separation of these two uh, um, events so this can be possible according to special theory of relativity this can be possible because light can travel equal and uh, or greater than the distance possible but this one which can say that light uh, uh, the length travel the distance travel by the light is less than the uh, separation between two points which cannot be possible so this is uh, ca this cannot uh, ca not casually connected okay so uh, here you can say within time like or light like two events suppose there is an event so suppose uh, there is an event uh, a and there is an event b in the time like will be connected casually connected but in case of in case of uh, space like these two point are does not casually connected. I think you understand according uh, 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 according to this. These two are connected casually, but this is not connected casually because here does not satisfy the special theory of relativity rule. That is, light can uh, 
travel less than the separation between two point next express inner product between two four vector mu and b mu is metric tensor hence so that mu b mu equal to m mu metric tensor is like that one that is the time part and these two are space part taken as like that its property is like that uh, if you change covariant contravariant form is this uh, just uh, look at this properties after that the uh, actual answer is like that this is your uh, additional information yeah inner product of two four vector is this one and that can be changed by this property you can see this is the property and taking the matrix multiplication you will be obtained this product okay again if you change uh, this uh, these two things you will be obtained this result and you can see these two are similar uh, these two are similar okay next one consider a decay process a uh, change into b and c and the mass of particle a is ma that of uh, mass particle b and c is like that so decay will be occur only this one actually the total energy of this particle m a, uh, a particle is like that m a c square for that one m b c square for that one m c c square and this uh, decay process can be occur when when this e a energy of this particle is equal or greater than the uh, total energy of b and c because the energy energy for the decay are obtained or can be used from this particle where they, there is no additional energy supply with this system so the energy obtained from uh, for the rea reaction or the decay uh, actually obtained from this mass of this particle that's why the total energy of this particle is equal to or greater than the total energy of the addition of these two particle so if you putting this value and uh, just cancel out c you will be obtained this relation easily next question Lagrangian of a particle of mass a moving under the central force is like that. This is the Lagrangian of a system of particle who is, uh, who, who, whose mass is m. Identify the cyclic coordinate and find out the corresponding momentum. You know this is the Lagrangian and uh, this can be written in shorter form. This dr dt can be written as r dot and d theta dt written as theta dot. You just derivative, partial derivative with respect to r dot and theta dot you will be obtained. There is 2 r dot 2 to cancel out m r dot only. And in this case, uh, this is 2 theta dot, so this 2 to cancel out m r dot theta dot, okay. So this is dr dt and this is d theta dt. And del, uh, del l del r equals to 0 because is there is, no, sorry, sorry, there is a mistake by me. Actually, okay, just corrected it. Because there is a function of r, so this must be del v del r. So this is not equal to 0 but there is no function of theta so del l del theta is zero hence this r is not so theta is the cyclic coordinate okay so theta is the cyclic coordinate r is not cyclic coordinate the corresponding momentum is so this is not so i think clear so p theta this is the corresponding uh, momentum along the theta axis is conserved this is the conserve momentum back because you know the equation of Lagrangian motion ddt of del l del theta dot actually zero so because this is zero so ddt of del l del theta equals to zero finally will be obtained del l del theta equals to constant so you can see this is the constant this is the conserve momentum okay i think clear go to the next one next question says find out fourier transform of dirac delta function in the momentum space you know the dirac delta function uh, transform of dirac delta function will be like that 1 by root 2 minus into plus into uh, this is the f of x and change into this one and you know the property of the Dirac delta function f of x del x minus x naught dx equal to f of x naught that is that point. So here this uh, put the x is p naught so this is the uh, Dirac delta function transform Dirac delta function. Next 
Lagrangian of a dynamical system is time independent del L del T equals to zero. So that dA is dt equals to zero. Hence Hamiltonian H equals to H Q K P K T. Uh, this is a function of h. So, if you taking the uh, derivative with respect to time, you will be obtain this expression. And you just uh, use this this uh, equation Hamilton's equation here. You just put this equation, and you will be get this to a equal and cancel out only del h del t as obtained. And you know del h del t is nothing but del l del t, and hence del l del t is zero. So this must be zero. How will be obtained del h del t equals to del l del t? You just uh, take this d h equals to this one and d l equals to this one. Put this volume and use this momentum expression. You will easily uh, prove this relation. Okay. So this is not a part of answer. Just for your knowledge. Take it. So uh, you can write down this into you know answer sheet. Next question says. If g of k is Fourier transformed of f of x, then what will be the Fourier transform function of f of lambda x? So this is the Fourier transform of f of x formula. Hence Fourier transform of f of lambda x. Just put the value of uh, uh, lambda x here. Fourier transform of this function. Just change the function. And after that, you change this um, lambda x into take another variable p dx equal to this one. Change into uh, integral property this one. So f of p then minus i this k by lambda is k prime p dp. So k prime equals to k by lambda. K prime equals to k by lambda. So this is the Fourier transform of lambda. So I think clear. If there is any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. This is all about me. This is my contact details and this is my YouTube channel details. Uh, so take care. We'll meet in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.